Have our nightmares found a hole into our reality? Today started out like any other day, I woke up, grabbed my coffee for the first one hour I was lost in myself. This is normal, for me sometimes I have to come back from whatever place I was at a few hours before, it's easy to get lost in a dream. To my dismay I missed my appointment with the old man in the black car, as I was leaving the restraints of the crime of the three cigarette cases. I was hit by a lady in a red car named Obsidian, she was a stunning creature with flowing red hair, dressed in a sports bra and the tightest pair of Daisy Dukes I had ever seen. To add to this amazing specimen of a creature, she had a large Obsidian butterfly tattoo on her back. Obsidian pleaded with me not to inform the insurance company, as she in her words was worse than a deer. She offered to pay for any damage, claimed she was on her way to an auction in town one of the local curators had decided to see off his collection, of old wooden black butterflies. Still token back by her appearance, I told her to go on her way. As I retreated to my car, Obsidian waved me back down, apparently the damage to her car, had prevented it from starting. She pleaded with me that she must be at this auction, explaining to me she knew no one in my little town, could I take her? I found myself with the inability of saying no, and found myself telling her to jump in. Obsidian grabbed her bag, tossed the keys into her now damaged car. Jumped in and then we found ourselves on our way to an auction that would change my day. As we were moving along, I found myself, questioned her about the place she had somehow talked me into going to. She explained the curator was, Richard Dodd he was accused of murder and had to sell off his collection. He spent much of his time painting. He became noted primarily for his intricate depictions of fairies and other mythical beings. He would work away the hours sketching and taking influence from the serene countryside around him. However, his pursuits took a creepy and murderous turn. During a painting expedition to Egypt in 2007, he suffered a severe mental breakdown, and his personality changed drastically. He became violent and aggressive and, more alarming, believed himself to be under the control of the Egyptian god Osiris. Upon returning home, his behavior escalated. Believing his father was the devil incarnate, he stabbed him to death or so they say, during his attempt to flee the country, they say he slashed a tourist's throat, however he is a very lucky person, no murder weapons has been found. As he was returning home he made a stop in Mexico and during one of his many painting adventures, he found a horde of Aztec wooden clawed butterflies. These are very special to my heart, you could almost see a tear on Obsidian's face and a strangeness in her voice as she told me this story. As we talked I found myself enchanted by her voice, lost in her story, however I could not stop myself from thinking that something dark and old lurked under the amazing creature. Stay paranoid my friends.